so now we place the Wally tractor on the spindle and we make sure that our anti-skating mechanism is disengaged. Please make sure you do this. Uh, we do not want that anti-skating measure engaged at all. Turn the dial to zero, disengage the weight, whatever you need to do. All right. Now, we need to identify what is the arc we're going to go after. Notice we've got the older record collection arcs and the newer record collection arcs. I'm not going to go into the differences here, but I definitely have another video of that, or you can read about it in the manual or on the website. Uh, today I'm going for the older record collection arcs, 254 millimeters specifically for this arm. And then you have a further choice, Lofgren or Bearwald alignment. Look right here and you'll see that the groove, each arc, each arc has actually two laser cut etch, etchings in it. The one that's further away from the pivot point is the Lofgren and the one that's closer to the pivot point is Bearwald. I'm going for Bearwald, uh, sorry, I'm going for Lofgren today. And the first place we're going to start this process is at zero, the zero point, which corresponds to the entirety of the exterior of the Wally tractor at our chosen alignment, which is 254 millimeters. So here's what I do. I spin the Wally tractor till it looks like when I drop the stylus, that the stylus will fall into my chosen groove, the Lofgren 254 groove. Um, that is what we're aiming for. You spin the Wally tractor to do that. Okay, so, so now I, I'm, I have dropped the stylus down at the zero location on the 254 millimeter arc, Lofgren, and I see that I am, oh geez, I'm a good two millimeters too far over. So what do I do? I don't move the cartridge, I move the Wally tractor. All right, I move, spin the Wally tractor until that stylus falls into the, my chosen groove. Remember this about the Wally tractor. When you come to point zero, you move the Wally tractor. When you go to point one, which is the next step of here, you will move the cartridge. I always follow that rule. All right, so now we've determined that the stylus falls perfectly at the zero point into the, our chosen 254 millimeter uh, uh, arc. Now, with the arm up, we're going to move it over to point number one, step number one, and we're going to hope that it falls right into the same groove. And we shall see. Nope, it's about one millimeter too far past the groove away from the pivot point. So now we need to fix that. All right, so now we've determined that at point number one, the cartridge is about a millimeter or so too far out this way to fall directly into the arc that we've chosen. Well, that, now we need to adjust things. We do not touch the Wally tractor, as I said, at point when we are dealing with point number one, only at point zero. Keep the Wally tractor immobile. What we need to change right now is the position of the style, the cartridge in the head shell. So I will simply, I've loosened these a little bit and I'm gonna move this cartridge back just less than a millimeter. You don't want to go full meter back. Even though I'm about a full millimeter too far over, I want to go a little bit more than half that amount back. Okay, now we've moved the cartridge just a little bit. Not quite the full millimeter that it was over that arc, uh, but uh, a little bit less. So now let's bring it back to point zero. We're not going to expect, because we changed it there, we're not going to expect that it's going to fall into that groove. We've got to come back to point zero and we need to, again, what do we do at point zero? We move the Wally tractor, not the cartridge. So we drop it down and we see, now, how much do we have to spin the Wally tractor in order to get it to fall in the groove? Just a little smidgen. I will do that. And that works. Now I'm back in the groove. Now I'm going to go back to step one. I've got it in the groove here. I'm going to go back to step one now. I'm going to hope that now I've got it in the groove. Oh, I am extraordinarily close. Really, really close. I could stop here and accept good enough, or I could make it perfect. I think I'm going to make it perfect. As I know, I want to optimize my vinyl playback. Okay, I have almost imperceptibly pushed the cartridge a little bit further towards the pivot point. Now I bring it back to point zero, drop it down, 
and see how much do I have to spin the Wally tractor. Barely anything at all, but I'm going to do it. All right. It's in the groove at point zero. And now I do hope we're going to see it in the same groove at point one. Bingo. We did it. All right, now we have the stylus follows the entirety of the arc. We know that. And, but make sure you understand the process that got us here. We did a dance between the Wally tractor and the cartridge to get it to align perfectly. And now that I know that the stylus is tracing the entirety of the groove perfectly, I know that this radius that I've got right here is perfectly pointing at the center of this tone arm. Many protractors use uh, a metal rod of some sort, and some sort of pointer to get you to manually uh, put it over the center of the tone arm uh, pivot point. That can be very, very difficult and uh, as a rough guess with some, model, particularly with some models of tone arms. You're not guessing with the Wally tractor. By that process that we did right here, we know we have it perfect.